let's get a little bit into the draft because the draft is in just three weeks. Um, this is going to be uploaded surely at least two weeks before the draft. Um, and we had a lot of developments early on. The Chicago trading the, the number one yep. overall pick. Now Carolina. They also gave DJ Moore. I'm really mad about that as a Packers fan. <laughs> DJ Moore is now in the division. But from based on reports, the Bears would only give up the first um, first overall pick if they got either DJ Moore, uh, Brian Burns, or Derek Brown. I think one of those three players. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, they traded away the least important I guess in terms of yeah. like positional value because you have just so many good receivers in the league this year that you can mm-hmm. probably replace DJ Moore but he's still a really good player mm-hmm. and so yeah but the Panthers obviously moved up to get their franchise quarterback I think yeah. they signed Andy Dalton as the backup so like they're gonna have a yeah they're gonna have a, a that's what he does best yeah he's they're gonna have a decent backup mm-hmm. they're a veteran backup. presence they they signed like DJ Chark uh, Adam Thielen of his like kind of like uh, aging and empty one, but they they have made some really decent signings in this off season. Von Bell as well. So the the, the, the Panthers are building up a, a decent team. And now if they land Bright Young or CJ Stroud, I think both quarterbacks are capable enough to be really quite good in their rookie year as well. I mean, there's such a big gap I think between those two quarterbacks and everyone mm-hmm. else uh, in the draft that yeah, I mean they can't go wrong with either one of them. Mm-hmm. I personally think Bright Young is a better prospect. Uh, I think in the Panthers just go through the process they will end up picking Bryson because I think yeah he's a better prospect yeah. but CJ Stroud I wouldn't have no problems with yeah. him being the first uh, overall yeah. pick I think he he would fit this team as well so yeah I, I think both both players can have the Panthers a lot so I don't blame them for the trade I think they gave up a bit too much but in order to secure your franchise quarterback you have to do that yeah so yeah it's interesting I have not seen a single maybe I haven't looked deep deep enough but uh, I haven't I've not seen a single person or a website or issue rank Bryce Young higher than CJ Stroud and even I think NFL.com ranked CJ Stroud as um, something like sixth or seventh not not, not amongst quarterbacks but amongst overall, overall prospects yeah mm, I mean I don't know like for me uh, a, lot, a lot of problems with Bryce Young comes because of his uh, mm-hmm. like, uh, like Athlet, not athleticism, but like the physical, yeah, like skills. Because he's yeah. under six feet, uh, six feet. He's uh, under two hundred pounds as well. Like for mm-hmm. ca- someone like Kyler Murray, he is sh- quite short, but he is like built up, so he's like two, two, t- two hundred and ten pounds or something like that. And the uh, problem is that yeah, Bryce Young is quite thin, so he might not have the frame of an NFL quarterback. But everything he does on the field is just so good. I mean, mm-hmm. if you watch him at Alabama, you can you can see that he. Mm-hmm. he I think. He really is a special player. The results are there, certainly. It's not even just the results, because you can always argue that, yeah, he played for Alabama. Same thing goes for CJ Stroud. Like, really, really talented teams, obviously, around them. So it's going to be much easier Mm. playing them high. And the opposition is... Compared to someone like Will Lewis, who had quite a bad supporting cast at Kentucky, for example. But the thing is, like, I I just... Like, I really like CJ Stroud, but I don't think he's close to Bryce Young. As, mm-hmm. a, as, as an overall prospect mm-hmm. I think Bryce Young is like I think there's a big gap between the first two quarterbacks mm-hmm. and then after the rest but also between CJ Stroud and Bryce Young I would say I wouldn't say a huge gap but there's still a noticeable gap mm-hmm. in advantage of like yeah. Bryce Young I think he's easily quarterback mm-hmm. one I think he's been my quarterback one since September I don't think that's changed I don't think that's gonna change mainly because quarterback is like the one position that I went through early on so I'm not gonna go back to that one mm-hmm. probably but yeah, I mean, it de- a lot of it depends on the, the on the fit. I mean, if the Panthers feel like CJ Stroud is a better fit for their system, I can understand that if they're kind of afraid of the frame of Bryce Young, for example, or or the durability, they might pick CJ Stroud, and I would have no problems with that. If I was a Panther GM right now or on draft day, I would pick Bryce Young without a question. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, CJ Stroud looks like the second best quarterback, but some some teams will have to probably even accept that fact that he's their best choice. The trade that Carolina made was probably uh, no team. It was bad news for uh, uh, for no team more than it was for for the Houston Texans. Houston yeah. Texans were hoping. Uh, actually, the, the way it, it was it was just ri- ridiculous because nah, they won. No, but they won the last game of the year uh, on a two point two point conversion. Yeah, where they were one point down. When it was already confirmed that Lovey Smith is going to get uh, fired, so he just yeah, as, yeah. As, a, as a final remark, he yeah. even and a sh- game for Chicago them. Chicago had lose. already lost. I think they had already lost. And they, everybody knew that they had lost. Yeah, yeah, and 
Um, and they just come in and win it a second, yeah, and then they lose yeah. the first overall pick to the Bears, yeah. and now suddenly they don't have the option to pick between Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud because they don't have the first yeah. uh, overall pick. And then, yeah, the Panthers yeah. were yeah. quick to act and jumped yeah. in quite early on yeah. to get the first pick. So, so, wha so what happens now? You can choose C.J. Stroud. Uh, last time when we, we talked about la last last time we talked about Houston, uh, I, I asked you whether you would choose a, a quarterback or a wide receiver, which would be a priority. You said quarterback without a doubt but at the time we were thinking it was about Bryce Young now it's he's no longer in the conversation not most probably you you can choose CJ Stroud you can choose a wide receiver you can also choose according to nfl.com the number two prospect is Will Anderson he's a uh, his defensive lineman I think yeah the, the thing with the with the Texans is they still have quite a weak roster compared to everyone else and obviously it's the first year for D'Amico Ryans yeah in the in the uh, as the head coach of the Texans and there's a good chance that he might think that he wants to build up the team first before drafting mm -hmm. the quarterback, as smart teams usually do. But then again, you never know when you're going to pick so high again. And next year, there might be some quarterback guys that are potentially better than C.J. Stroud this year, but you don't know if you're going to be there. And now if you're there at the number two position, yes, I understand that Will Anderson is a superb prospect. He is. But every year there are some great prospects. Uh, if I was the Texans, I would still go quarterback. If they go, let's say, Will Anderson or Tyre Wilson, whatever other player that's not a quarterback that they have higher on the board, I would be surprised, but I would kind of understand it. I, I would disagree with the uh, dec decision, though. Like, I still think they just need a quarterback. They, you can't go into the season with either Davis Mills or Case Keenum as your quarterback. That's You're you not being the serious NFL team at that point. I mean, CJ Stroud, you still have, after his first year, if, if he doesn't perform this year or the team is bad around him, you still have like three years to build him up or four. And I think Demico Ryans is going to be a great head coach. So if they just give him time, maybe maybe he's going to draft CJ Stroud and then build the team up in the next few years. I can, I can still see that happening. But if they don't have a quarterback this year, then basically they just gave up for 2023 already. And for a first year head coach, that's not really a good sign. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you saw it with the Bears last year, so maybe it yeah. can happen. But yeah, but, but, but they're still likely to have a good uh, drafting position next year. Yeah, but like you never know if it's like top five. Like there's a big difference in like second or like fifth in the draft yeah. as well, especially when it comes to quarterbacks. Because you, even this year, there's a good chance that the Cardinals at three, uh, let's say, uh, trade down because mm -hmm. they don't really need a quarterback with Kyler's huge contract. So there might be a team that's interested in moving up for mm -hmm. Anthony Richardson, let's say. So yeah, I mean draft position matters a lot especially in the beginning like there's a big difference in two and five if they get five next year and they don't draft the quarterback this year there might not be a chance they might not have a chance to mm -hmm. draft the quarterback next year but if they go into 2023 with the mindset that they want to tank or let's say Caleb Williams yeah. or one of these other guys from next year then yeah they can just go pick Will Anderson this year have a blue chip prospect basically on their team and then go draft the quarterback next year I mean it all depends on the Texans how they view mm -hmm. their team if I was the Texas, I would wait a year. I would get get CJ Stroud because I think he is a really good prospect. But yeah, uh, I'm not gonna be really surprised if they don't end up taking a quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, if we if we suppose that Carolina is guaranteed to go with Bryce Young, Houston's probably gonna go with a CJ Stroud. Probably uh, number three is Arizona, and according to NFL.com, the two highest rated prospects remaining at that point. Will Anderson and Texas running back by Jan Robinson. Yeah. Which one better fits their needs, or which one is the better pick? So the thing with Bijan is he's he's an he's an insane prospect. Like I don't know if you mm -hmm. sit seen down a bit of sit down and watch him. He's, ah, okay. He'll I, I quite literally don't see like a huge weakness in his game. He's a receiving option as well. It's really good balance. It's, it's really good vision. He's he's insane. He might just be the best player in the entire draft mm -hmm. but the thing with running backs is positional yeah. value and the thing with the Cardinals is they probably have one of the worst teams in the entire league yeah. at the moment and you just can't afford to draft running back at number three overall so either they trade him down which I would I would hope they do if I was if I were a Cardinals fan or just yeah just go with Will Anderson and just just get 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 a really good player mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I it's also not an area where they're specifically solid at the moment. They don't have anyone really solid no, on the I mean, defensive line. The entire team is the weak. Passer, yeah, 
and yeah they have a couple of, like second year players from last year but the entire defense is just so weak but they're not no nodes worthy <laughs> nah like no one yeah so i would if i were them I'd either trade down to get more picks or just pick yeah that's player available not no you you cannot go quarterback you cannot go running back though like even though vision is an amazing prospect there are so many teams in the top 10 that just cannot pick him purely because they have bigger needs or just yeah kind of be a waste based on positional value but he's absolutely one of the best prospects in the in the in the draft. So if he falls, it's not because he's bad. It's just that teams might not value running back mm -hmm. as we've seen in previous yeah. years as well. So yeah, but but if the Cardinals don't select him, he might fall substantially because after that, I think I Seattle's think after that. I think they have Rashad Penny. I think uh, ideal ideally, uh, he might go to Philly at like ten. I think they have uh -huh. the ten pick yeah, because the their, their the team is good enough, and if they pick up. A Bijan Robinson that would be an insane yeah. offense. Yeah. So the, the financial difference between number three and number ten is that's it's also huge, yeah. yeah. But al also that just that just yeah, you hear about this it's in draft. Just the position value is so important. Yeah, yeah. If that's not the team's three, fault. That's you just the don't draft a, a running back yeah. anymore. I mean, even Barkley was a second overall pick a couple of years ago, and he he has been good when he was healthy. But if you go back and ask Giants fans, he wasn't yeah. worth the second overall pick from yeah. 2018. So. Yeah, it's the it durability is a there. big issue. Like, I don't know who the last prospect that was as good as Bichon at the running back position. I really don't know. Mm. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's all the way back to Adrian Peterson. I don't know. Perhaps. But yeah, I mean, I I, I just don't see how he doesn't go like top fifteen. I, like, if there's a team after the t uh, top mm -hmm. ten that doesn't have an elite running back, yeah. I, I just yeah, I don't know how you pass up on him. I mean. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a really good player like yeah he's, he's gonna be really good yeah. i think yeah everyone thinks that all right